What's up, fanatics? Welcome to another video. My name is Sully. I'm a variety streamer, Twitch partner, Gold Wax ambassador, and a longtime Funko fanatic. Uh, maybe you've been thinking about getting into the NFTs. Maybe you've been into NFTs for a little while, but you haven't been using the Drop Marketplace. Maybe you've been in the Drop Marketplace, but you haven't added that USDC to your wallet yet. It seems like a big hurdle. It's really not. Let me help you out. Here's the deal. We've got a huge announcement from Funko that just dropped this week. We've got Transformers Series 2. We've got Star Trek Next Generation and Star Wars NFTs coming to you. Those Star Wars NFTs, we haven't seen what they look like yet. We haven't seen what any of these look like yet. We're going to get that information soon. But we did see a little logo on there. As you can see right here, I'll click on it. It has got the drop exclusive logo on there. What's that mean? Uh, don't freak out. Don't freak out. Drop exclusive simply means you'll be able to buy your packs just like always on drop, digital.funko.com, on drop day, whenever that is. We're waiting on a date. After you open those packs, you will only be able to buy and sell on the drop marketplace. You won't be able to send those NFTs or transfer them to another wallet. You won't be able to use Atomic Hub or NFT Hive or any of those other sites that you become accustomed to in the several years that Funko has been selling these NFTs all the way back to Tur Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Don't let that freak you out. All you need to do, if you're willing to, is learn a few steps to get that USDC into your wallet on the drop marketplace and then it's almost as easy as it was completing royalty sets buying and selling anything in that secondary market you just got to get over a little bit of a hurdle you got to learn a little bit and you can do it having said that there are some restrictions that will keep some people out of the drop marketplace geographically uh, not all areas are allowed to participate. This is probably due to some sort of government regulation and not ha doesn't have anything to do with drop not wanting you involved. Uh, also, buying USDC requires that you get verified uh, on a site like Coinbase that I'm about to use. You'll have to go through those hurdles. Maybe it works for you. Maybe it doesn't. You'll have to try. You'll have to get verified on the Drop Marketplace website as well. Uh, that requires some extra steps. It's worth it if you want to take the time to do it. Having said all that, and before I go any further, this is not financial advice. I am merely a fan like you who wanted to start collecting these and started doing the research and learning as much as I could. So without any further ado, let's get into how to get that USDC over to your drop wallet. One of the first things you're going to need to do is you're going to need to figure out what that special wallet address is that you'll be sending your USDC Two. It is not your simple .dp wallet. It is a separate uh, string of letters and numbers that you need to get before you buy that USDC and transfer it over. There are some specific steps. So first thing is go up here to the right upper right hand corner. Go down to wallet. You'll see your wallet here. I'll zoom in. Uh, you may or may not be verified already. You will need to get verified. If you already are, you want to go to add funds. Under Add Funds, I have USDC. It's going to walk you through this every time to make sure that you've got the information you need. It's very helpful. What token are you going to add to your wallet? It has to be USDC. You can't send any other uh, crypto over there. No Wax, no Polygon, no nothing. You can't send any of that. Click on Yes, I've confirmed I'm sending USDC. Click Next. You now have two options. In the past, I did another video on this. Ethereum was an option for the network you would send it across. You're not sending Ethereum. That part can be confusing. You're taking your USDC and you're using the Ethereum blockchain to send it over. There's another video for that on here on YouTube. Go check it out. That comes with fees, and I talked about that in that video. But with Polygon, it says low fees. It may be no fees. We're going to find out as we go through this. This is the option to go with, in my opinion. Now that this has been added just here in the last few weeks, click on Polygon and click Next. There's a little video that appears up at the top of the screen here that does walk you through the steps, but I understand that can be a little lacking in information, so I'll walk you through here step by step. Go ahead and see this address down here at the bottom where it says Polygon Address. You can click the little uh, pieces of paper, whatever you call these over here, or uh, click Copy Address. Either way, that'll be added to your wallet, and then click Next. And then it's going to say to finish depositing uh, funds into your balance, please review and complete your transaction in your crypto exchange or external wallet. In other words, we're going to go over to Coinbase. We've got to do everything over there. 
the drop area is going to do nothing but receive. There's no additional info or steps that you need to take there. Go over to a site like Coinbase. You could use any of these exchanges. It's up to you. I choose Coinbase because I already had an account for it. I've already been set up on there. I already have some funding sources, i.e. a bank account, credit card, whatever. I want to buy some USDC. Even though I own a little bit, I don't own enough. I want to add some more to my wallet to get ready for Star Wars because I plan on going heavy and buying those uh, legendaries, grails, epics that I need to complete royalty sets. Heck, maybe even a 101. We'll see. Uh, go in the upper right-hand corner where it says buy and sell. Click on that. You're going to place a one-time order. What are you going to be buying? Down here, it's defaulting to Bitcoin. Bitcoin's not going to do us any good today. Click that little uh, arrow out to the side and choose USDC. It comes with this blue logo over to the side with a dollar sign in it. All right. How are you going to pay? I can pay with, I have several funding sources. I'm going to choose this one right here. And I'm not buying $3,000 worth. No, thank you. Uh, today, I'm going to buy $100 worth. So I'll put in $100. Uh, you are buying either in USDC or you're buying $100 worth of USDC. Uh, it doesn't matter. Depends on what you need. If you need a specific amount of USDC, make sure you have this option, uh, this toggle selected to say USDC. Maybe you need exactly 20 to buy something you're going after. I'm just buying $100 worth of USDC today uh, to add to my account. The specifics down to the amount of USDC don't matter. One-time purchase, I'm buying USDC. I'm going down making sure I check all these options, pay with, uh, I know which one I'm paying with. Preview my purchase. Make sure it's all right. Read it down again just to make sure there is a cost of $1. Uh, no, I'm sorry. The price is $1 per USDC. There is a fee here on Coinbase of $4.19 that I got to pay. These sites aren't free. They cost money to run. I'm okay with that. If you can find another way to buy your USDC, you go for it. But I'm going to buy it right here. Total of $100 on top of a $95.81 that it's going to purchase of USDC for a total of $100. So it's just reducing the amount I'm buying to include that fee. Uh, no, I don't want to invest weekly. Um, I could join Coinbase One, looks like. I don't know anything about that. Looks like another option to save some money. I'm just going to go ahead and buy. And we're going to wait and see that that transaction goes through. And then I should see the amount of USDC I have in my wallet go up to over $100. All right, order is submitted. We'll go over to My Assets. USDC. I now have $96.72 worth of USDC. We're good to make a transfer now. All right, to make a transfer, we're going to go up to the upper right-hand corner. We want to send this over to our drop wallet. Send and receive. It defaults to Matic. That's not what we want to use. That might have to do with the fact I had some in my wallet. Yours might default differently. Uh, make sure what you're going to send, even though it's going across the Polygon network, you're not sending Polygon. That can be confusing. You're sending USDC. So click that. Select how much you want to send. Uh, I want to go ahead and send 95 USDC. I'm going to keep a little bit over here in my Coinbase wallet for the future or in case there's any kind of fees or anything that I need to cover. Uh, where am I sending it to? Uh, click on here and it's going to ask you two things. Where are you sending it to? But first, what network are you sending across? This is that new option. Originally, we were picking Ethereum that came with a fee. You can see what it would be here, $5.32. We're not using that. We're using Polygon. So scroll down, select Polygon. This give you a little warning, and it says, does your recipient accept USDC on Polygon? The answer is yes. We already know that. Uh, we can say, don't warn us again in the future. Yes, it's supported. All right. Who is the recipient? Where are we sending it to? This is that address that we copied over before when we went to add funds. I'll run through that again real quick just to make sure. Yes, I have USDC. Yes, I'm confirmed that it's USDC. I'm sending via Polygon, and I'm going to copy this address. Make sure it starts with zero, ends in four, nine. I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to paste that in. Yes. It shows exactly the address I wanted. I can go all the way back across there and confirm the account number. Perfect. Uh, looks like I can add that as a contact and I will just call it uh, Sully's drop account. say save that way in case I want to send in the future I've got it click on that I'm all set 
95 USDC, sending USDC to that address. And I can see a little Polygon logo right down there. So I know that we're good to go. I hit preview send. Now we'll see if there are any fees at all. It's behind uh, my camera here. So I will awkwardly move that while trying to stream. <laughs> Whoop, right to the upper corner. There we go. Um, two. Make sure that wallet is correct uh, over here on the right hand side now above where my camera was. I'm sending 95 to that address across the network, Polygon, network fee free. I don't know why it's free right now, but it is. Looks like it could have been about five cents or uh, 0.05 USDC before, but it says free. Send time less than 10 minutes total, $95. That's what I want. I hit send now. Now. It does say that I have to put in an authenticator code. This is important. I recommend always when given the option in any of this cryptocurrency NFT world that you use two-factor authentication whenever possible. I have mine set up already. I go to my authenticator app. I type in a number and I hit continue. Of course, edit that out as I type in my code, but I recommend that you absolutely enable this to protect yourself. Okay, I entered my authenticator code. And now it's, uh, we're getting the bouncing balls there, letting us know it's going through. Bingo. 95 USDC has been sent to the right account. It says the transaction usually takes less than 10 minutes. We'll pop back over to the drop wallet where I did have about $125 in USDC. Uh, while we're waiting on that to transfer over, let me move my camera back to the corner over here where I had it. And uh, while time, how long this takes to get sent over. Okay, just did a refresh and weighing in at a little over 13 minutes from start to finish. We now have our updated balance to my drop wallet. You can see it's increased by the $95, bringing me up to 22020. I wanna be ready for those Star Wars NFTs and I don't wanna waste any time. I wanna make sure it's there for when the day comes. All right, uh, so. You've learned how to go on Coinbase and buy. You've learned where to send it. You've got your USDC. Now you're all set and you're ready for either the drop exclusive or any of the other NFTs or digital collectibles that are going on sale over on drop. Sometimes if you got some of these projects that aren't drop exclusives, they'll be available. You can purchase the NFTs on either the Wax blockchain or on drop. And if you look and use tools like Pop and Stock, we can show here. You might be able to save yourself a few bucks uh, by buying on one versus the other. But remember with Disney, Mickey and Friends, and with Star Wars, for now, those are the only two drop exclusives, once Star Wars lands, of course. If you liked the video and you found the information helpful, please subscribe to the channel here, hit that heart button down below, and be sure to follow me on Twitter, I'm at CS Sully, and check out my live streams every Tuesday and Friday on Twitch and YouTube, where you can interact live, ask your questions, and learn about collecting Funko NFTs, getting those physical pops like the one you see behind me on the shelf there, and uh, happy hunting. I hope you guys enjoy the collecting, and as always, Nerds Unite.